Good morning, good morning, good morning. Mikey here, SD Fish and Sips. Welcome back to the channel. We're back in San Diego. It's just before 6.30 in the morning on a beautiful Sunday morning. Here we're getting to the tail end of March. We're at March 28, 2021. Coming into Summit Gasoline. I'm gonna pick up some squid here for some rock fishing today. I'm stoked, I'm going out with my buddies Yanni from Fisherman's Belly and Chris, CTF Photo, he does rare coins online. Check out both of those guys. Coming in here, we're gonna pick up some squid, maybe a cup of coffee and see if Joe's in the house. Chop it up, I haven't seen my buddy Joe in here for a while, he kicked it off with the halibut for me last year and always giving me good luck. So hopefully he's working, I can say what's up to him. Let's check it out, here we go. Looks like he's wearing a Golden State Greens hat, so I'm gonna bring in some oil, some of Mikey's oil. I'm loving it, but we're gonna hook him up with a bottle of this if he wants it. Let's go make it happen. Okay, so no Joe. No Joe at the gas station. They got the swap meet starting up right here. Kobe's swap meet. Got the full moon over there setting. That's pretty nice. And we're on the way to La Jolla. Go meet up with Yanni, Chris and the crew. Let's do it. Good morning. We're going live. Oh, Chris is getting me. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I like it. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Here we are. What's going on, all my fishy friends and my grateful gaffers? It's your buddy Mikey here with another episode of the Doc Cast Podcast. We're here on a beautiful Sunday morning, La Jolla Shores, in the epicenter of kayak fishing for here in San Diego on the West Coast. And that's where yeah, my roots started. Hole, this is where it all started for me with these guys hole, right here. I got some of the legends in the game. I got my buddy uh, Chris right here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we met each other. What year, what year was that when we first? Uh, Self-priming the whole bit. Yeah, 10 years ago when I first got started and there was a squid bite actually out here. And uh, that's when you got your first yellowtail was on some live squid, right? Um, very first yellowtail was on live squid. Yeah, and you bought the live squid from no, a boat no, no, out no, there? You caught that, it yourself? That one I caught myself. Okay. Later I bought some. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, fantastic catching yellowtail. Looks right. like a beautiful day. So I thought we were rock fishing today, but uh, what do you think, Yanni? What are we looking at? Uh, we're here so at La Jolla Shores. I got my buddy Chris here, and then now I got Yanni. Fisherman's so Belly. This is the end of March, right? Yep. So we're yeah, at yeah, the yeah. very beginning of the spring. Yep. We're waiting for the water temperature to start warming up because that's when the white sea bass and yellowtail really start hitting. Yep. So we're going after rockfish because we know we're going to catch some and go home with some fish, but we're going to keep our eyes out. So we're going to keep our eyes wide open, especially on our fish finders for those yellowtail marks because they're still going to be on the bottom because the water's still cold. So I didn't bring, I didn't. I only brought two setups. So should I have an iron ready? A you should, have a, you to should have a heavy iron ready. Yeah, heavy iron and then a rockfish uh, rig setup. So and, and that's all you need. Going back okay. to the time of the year. So like you were saying, so we're going rock fishing. Right. And what depth are we going in for the uh, for the rockfish? Do you well, think? That, that's the beauty of La Jolla, right? We don't have to fish 300 foot of water, 200 foot of water. We won't get any deeper than 150 feet. We won't need to. Between that's 100 what I like. and 150 yeah, that's what feet, I like. we're going to catch plenty of nice size rockfish. Okay. 160. 
One, yeah. or, <laughs> all right, 160, Chris that's okay. Knows. Exactly, it's a pain. I was fishing in the South Nine, 300 feet, and just cranky, you lose your bait, cranky, cranky, cranky. That gets yep. old, that yep. gets really old. Exactly. So there's plenty of rock piles on the edge, and what's really fun about rock fishing is you get to explore. Even if you've got waypoints already for rockfish, you know they move around, but all you do is you look for that structure on the bottom, especially if you see bait, and if you've got your fish finder dialed in and you know what you look and what rockfish look like on your fish finder, you just look for that. If you see bait, you see a transition of rock to sand, you stop and you fish. If you don't get any nibbles, you move on, you go to the next spot until you hit a spot and then it's a honey hole and you catch all the rockfish you need. And that's what I love about rockfishing in La Jolla. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, no, that's, that's what we've done before. So what do you got for your rigs uh, that you're working with? Well, for the rockfish, I've got my dropper loop, the nice heavy uh, swivel, really? three-way so swivel. You, that, that's a little different than what I've seen you run before. Because, Chris, what are you running for your rockfish? I'm running snag. So you, you actually got the three-way swivel with the leader, a fluorocarbon leader on it right here. You know, you don't really need a fluorocarbon leader because fluorocarbon leaders work best when you're surface fishing and you're dragging live bait. But when you get in deeper water, the fish can't see the line. If you're using mono, they still can't see it. And, and rockfish are so dumb, they're not going to, you know, yellowtail are really picky. But rockfish, if they just smell food, they just jump on it, whether you've got fluorocarbon or mono. So you got like a 5 aught ring circle hook right I've here? I've got a ring circle hook, so they'll hook themselves because sometimes they were real picky. But what's most important is the diameter of the hook is very small because rockfish have bony mouths. So you want a sharp, don't use old hooks. You want a sharp pointy hook that's narrow in diameter so it'll punch the hole and, and penetrate the, gotcha. the mouth of that rockfish. Yeah, that's, that's what Woo! the tide's I'm, coming I'm thinking in. I got, I got a completely different uh, setup to use for mine. Because nah. I tied mine directly. I basically did a drop shot directly yeah. on a 30 pound mono, yeah. but I have a big demon uh, circle hook that's thick. It was for tarpon. Uh, and it'll, and we'll, it'll we'll still see. work. Yeah, it'll there still it is. work. That's what we're going with the bait. Yeah, and see, then, this is what the, this is more similar to what I'm working with. You just tied a, uh, so what kind of knot is that? The, um, it's the type of knot that goes around a hook. I forgot the name, <laughs> but it's a, it's a real knot. So what I do is I hook, the, I hook the head of the squid right here, and I put the tentacles here. Solo skiff. There's another solo skiff launching out. One big piece of uh, squid hanging down. That way, a big fish will eat the whole thing, or a small fish will eat part of it, and then I'll still have the other part. That way I have two shots. Or Very one nice. shot of a big one. But this is my preferred setup. And you're 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 going with the Avit reel, and then you got the Phoenix rod. That's a great setup oh, yeah. right there. That's yeah. that's yeah. Uh, I like that color started. of that reel. is really really cool. That was a custom <laughs> order on the internet, man. That's the only way. I Seven got foot eight rod. That's yep. a S a MX. JX. JX. It goes SX JX MX. And that's is a that? Raptor, so it has a better drag. Yeah. Really nice reels. Cool, yeah, that's, that's, that's what. That's sweet. A rock Dang, and then is this a custom-made gaff? Yeah. Look at that, <laughs> how thick the handle is on that gaff. That. Chris made this wooded. What kind of wood did you use to make this gaff? Sure about, it's an orange tree from my house. <laughs> That's sick. So for the recipes, so we're going to go out there uh, this morning. We're going to go straight to the spot. So that, that's the setups that we're working with. You got the actual three-way swivel. I'm going with the drop shot single hook. Chris has the trailer hook on his setup, and then we're going to drop down squid. I got a one pound of squid. You guys got you, three you pounds of squid. Too? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, awesome. I got a pound of squid and some old mackerel and some other strips of bait. So I'm just going to drop everything down on that single hook and the other and then be dragging around. I got a flat fall tied on right now awesome. and, and I'll uh, be jigging that and then my fish finder I couldn't get that to work so that's why I was asking you I'm relying on you yeah for your spots mine's hooked up exactly go. I've got my and, waypoints in and I'm just gonna focus on trying to get limits of rockfish and see what what else happens so I mean you guys are pretty much ready to go huh I'm, I'm, I figured I'll meet you out there uh I, I still got to get my stuff set we're, up. So we're gonna head straight out but we're gonna be in deeper water 140 150 feet I'm guessing so, and we're not going to, we'll probably be right parallel with the end of the point. Okay. So, that's our first rockfish hole. 
And then it's so the before, one. okay. And, and then, then we'll follow those I'll meet you, contours all the way out. Yeah, yeah. I'll meet you guys out there. But before we go, uh, your favorite, I have a fishtail segment. So you tell your favorite uh, fish yeah, story. What's your, your favorite fish fishtail that you can think of right now? My favorite fishtail is the very first day I met you. <laughs> you, was, <laughs> you were fishing in a recycled, <laughs> reused plastic <laughs> bathtub with trout poles. Trout poles. <laughs> with trout poles. Your hair was just a little longer and a little more red. <laughs> and I went up to you and I introduced myself and I asked you, what in God's name are you doing? And then I, and we started talking and I realized I was running late, but I gave you a laundry list of what you needed, what kind of kayak you needed, what kind of gear you needed, blah, blah, blah. And I've done that a million times to a lot of people and everybody never listens. But the next time I saw you, you met every item on that laundry list. And I said to myself, I like this guy. I, he's actually listening. And we became good friends yeah, ever since. Exactly. And now you're even a better fisherman than I. I remember and I, you were the first one I've seen to get a yellowtail out here. I remember we went and chased yellowtail yeah. and the birds popped up and yeah. you chased after them with the live mackerel. Yeah. And you got a nice like 20 pound yellowtail. And I was and yelling at just... the top of my lung, Mikey, get over <laughs> here. Job. My mackerel was dead. I couldn't uh, keep him alive because I was dragging a tube around. It was just a nightmare. It's my uh, my favorite fishtail. My second favorite fishtail is the first time I saw him, and he was hooked <laughs> up into a yellowtail on a squid bite. And was he, that your first yellowtail? And he ran into another guy, and they both tangled up. Yep. And the other guy was experienced and getting frustrated with him, who he, he wasn't experienced at all, yeah, no. and didn't know what to do. I was asking the guy, can you cut your line? The guy's like, I'm hooked up. Why would I cut my line? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, that's classic. Great, that's the best feeling when you catch your first yellowtail on a kayak. Oh. But my, the, What's your favorite memory out here? That um, white sea bass yeah, morning? The white sea bass. <laughs> we, come, we come out because of the white sea bass. Mikey and Matt are out here. Frozen dead squid, Ranch 99, uh -huh. right? Yeah. And you're, you already have, what, do you already have a white sea bass or a yellow? A tail? yellow tail, I think, and yeah. Had, and, and Matt had a white sea bass. <laughs> I dropped down. Within 15 minutes, I'm hooked up. On the bottom, so I hooked up on a huge white sea bass. It's fighting it like a freight train off it gives up, comes up and pops up on the top. I'm like, rad! So I'm hold, starting to hold the white sea bass up and my other pole goes, slam! <laughs> and I'm like, oh! So I didn't even get the photo, but I caught a second white sea bass that was another Classic. 250 pound white yellow tail the following day. Yeah, that was yeah. all time great oh, bite. Yeah, so since you're the, the cooking expert, right. that's another thing that everybody loves about uh, fishing, you know, is enjoying your catch afterwards. It always tastes better if you catch it yourself. Oh, hell so yeah. So what's your favorite with the rockfish specifically? What's your top ways to say top three or top first year, number three, number one way for the rockfish, you personally? I absolutely love grilled whole rockfish. Yeah, so you told me the first time. Number, <laughs> yeah, number one. Exactly, no, number yeah. two, rockfish soup. Because I get okay. to use the whole fish. Yeah. And number three, pokey. I love pokey and rockfish is such a nice, really? firm fish. Especially the vermilions, which are like red snappers. So you just chop that up and eat it raw then you're talking about? Well, you, with, with pokey and raw fish, you got to freeze your fillets for yeah. at least a week because you want to make sure they don't have any parasites. Exactly, you got to remember, yeah. every fish in the ocean has got parasites. You, you do that with yellowtail too? Oh, hell yeah. You got to because there's a possibility then, do you have of to parasites. Have com a commercial grade? Uh, freezer, or it's a week in a no. regular house freezer. A, a, a week in a regular house freezer. Oh, that's why I was surprised to hear about raw with the rockfish, but I heard tuna, that it's good. Tuna is the only fish in the ocean that you can literally take out of the water and eat it raw. There's no okay. parasites in tuna for whatever reason. But any other fish, there's a possibility of, of parasites. Why take the risk? So I'm calling it. That's it for the, this episode of the DogCast podcast. We're here in La Jolla Shores. Wrapping it up with the OG legends of the kayak fishing game. We've seen a lot of the people out here. I've, we got, I've seen a solo skiff launch, the new school. We got the old school paddle kayaks. Yanni's got the fish and dive right here. With the, we got pro anglers, two of them right here. These guys are launching. There's been probably about, how would you say, at least 20 people down here, right? Launching out and kayak fishing. More than that, 30, to 30, 30 to 40 people out here fishing. So we'll see what, what's how We got a buddy out there right now. Have you had Matt said what, if he's caught in any uh, fish yet? Uh, 
he's looking for yellow tail. Yeah, he, he's, he's a yellow tail hunter, so he'll probably get one. It's a, it's a beautiful sunny uh, afternoon, but it should continue the next couple of days and be nice weather. So I'm gonna try to get out here again before the, I leave on my trip. But that's it for right now. I gotta get my, my truck's gonna start getting wet. So that's it, that's all. Let's go do it. Get some, get it, get some fish. Tight lines. Dang, that's sad to see. Stewart board. Eight foot. Shredded. Dang. Check out that rig. That's sick. Okay, here we are. Good morning. Rolling for the launch. What's up, man? What's going on, buddy? How much are you doing? Looking good, dude. I'm That's doing nice. excellent. Back in town, uh, and then Cruz, I, I uh, was met, met up with Yanni and Chris. Uh -huh. Yanni from Fisherman's Belly. Uh, you know him? Yeah. Yeah. Because I he, he's the one that like taught me everything I know about kayak fishing. Oh, really? Yeah. And then so I I did a little. My buddy uh, partnered up, and he wanted to do a pod get a get a podcast going. So I was talking with Yanni beforehand about rock fishing. That's what we're going to go out today and uh, do a little rock fishing. And then I saw like 30, 40 people launching out, another solo skin. Uh -huh. Everybody's out. It's such a nice day today. So yeah. I, I'm even thinking that now might the yellows come out. That's but it's, it's like I've, I've, I've had so much going on. I just got back from Florida. I've been video editing videos every single day. And it's uh -huh. like, just, but I'm loving it. You know, I'm, I'm really, really loving it and just going for it. and. Uh, Having a good time. Awesome, man. Yeah. Dang, that thing is looking clean and nice, bro. Yeah, I like that motor a lot. Yeah, I'm, I was pretty stoked on it. You know, the only thing that freaks me out is that it's air, but you know. Oh yeah, but it's in sections, right? Yeah, it's, not it's like all this is one, one, that's one, and the floor is one. So as long as I don't get a gap in there or, or a hook. But even like if you get a hook, it doesn't like. And then I out. noticed you can power your Traeger from that Bixby. Yeah, that battery. And how how long can you power the Traeger for off that battery? An hour or so? No, hours. Hours. Yeah, I smoked ribs on there for like three hours, four hours. There's still battery. You, thank you. Man. Good, good yeah, talking with you. Good luck. good with the Werner paddle the nice paddle tried in 13 ocean kayaks how's that paddling huh? oh. how's that kayak hey, also, no no I'm I'm being serious no I was wondering because I've spent a lot of time fishing on that though what? I he says it's narrow and a little unstable really what you guys are about the same size aren't you I was gonna say yeah because what are you used to what are you used to for a kayak Oh, oh! You went on a Hobie Outback the first time. Did you guys find get to the spot yet? We're at 120, so I'm gonna keep my eyes open. But we're heading for 150, 160. Okay. But they're I thought they were moving to the right. They're moving over this way, right? Yellowtail. We're seeing yellowtail boils. I got the flat fall ready. Yanni's seeing some marks for some rockfish. Let's get it. Got the squid right here from the gas station. Start off with the hole.
Yeah, I'm, I'm getting, but they're all small hits. But I definitely, something took my bait. I was getting hit, nib, nibble just nonstop, but nothing solid. But there's, I'm gonna drop back down. done some towing with the rope behind me. That sucked, honestly. Because it's hard to keep it straight and you feel like you're gonna tip over at any second. Yeah, this is much more stable. That's good. That's how I'm gonna and do it. And if I it. need to let go, I can let go, right? 20 inches let's, long. 20 inches, let's see it. Woo, that is a beaut, Yanni. I'm so stoked. Yes, wow, yeah, I came out, just a beautiful. Came out here twice in the month of March and had to go home because the surf was too big. Well, so what'd you catch it on? A whole squid. Whole squid on your uh, three-way swivel, but look at how much you shorten the uh, leader down to a couple inches. I did. So yeah, just whole squid on that, making it happen. That is the catch of the day so far. Wow. Nice work. Just wow. a few. fish haul for the day get it here in the bag put it on ice and grill some of them whole so it's nice Maybe. to get out with Yanni and the crew get some fish we'll cook it up call it good stoked Sunday out here in La Jolla